Hello and welcome to another edition of Kiadini's Kitchen, video game recipes made real. Now, this week's recipe is probably the weirdest one we've tackled so far, which is saying something, because last week we made the Baker's Family Dinner from Resident Evil 7. What's so strange, you ask? The Shroom Cake from Paper Mario. So the shroom cake is something you can actually make for yourself in Paper Mario, so I've gone online and found the crafting recipe, which reads shroom cake, mushroom, plus cake mix. Right. Okay, so I've done a bit of research and I've cribbed a recipe that I think might just work. Now, there were lots of recipes for savoury mushroom cakes online, but to be honest, they were closer to breads. So they were full of cheese and salt and pepper and herbs like rosemary, and to be honest with you, that's not really what Mario's eating in Paper Mario. It's very obviously a sweet cake. So I found a recipe, not sure it's gonna work to be honest, but here's what you'll need to make a shroom cake. 125 grams of unsalted butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, two eggs, 250 grams of self-raising flour, 120 milliliters of milk, 400 grams of button mushrooms, a small handful of walnuts, and two generous tablespoons of honey. And yes, those are buttered mushrooms legally obtained before anyone starts making jokes about hallucinogenics. Ready? Let's-a go! So step one is to preheat your oven to 180 degrees, or gas mark four. Always takes ages to catch. After that it's time to grease a cake tin, which I don't have. I've got a small silicon spiderweb Halloween cake mould. It's the best I've got, so we're going to have to make do. And once that's done, it's time to get hold of your button mushrooms and start cutting them up nice and small. Now we're getting this step out of the way early because the recipe calls for self-raising flour, meaning as soon as that hits the wet ingredients, it's gonna start reacting and we're gonna be working with a limited amount of time to get the cake in the oven without completely balking the whole thing. Now obviously we do have quite a lot of mushrooms and they are all quite small, which makes this step potentially very time consuming and tedious. I find it goes a lot quicker and is far more enjoyable if you pretend each and every mushroom is Toad from the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, that was cathartic. We have our diced mushrooms here so we can get on with making the actual cake mix. Step one of which is to take your butter and sugar and stick them in a bowl together. Right, there's our butter and sugar in the bowl and it's our job to cream them together until light and fluffy. Ordinarily you'd use a mixer or an electric whisk for this but I don't have either so I'll be using a fork. Just because I moved to a new kitchen doesn't mean it's actually well kitted out. Right, so once you've done that, until either your butter and sugar mix is light and fluffy, or your arm is killing you and you realise life's just too short, you can start adding your eggs in one by one and mixing well. <laughs> Alright, so with the eggs nicely blended in, we're going to graduate to a wooden spoon now, and then we're going to start adding the 250 grams of flour and 120 millilitres of milk. We're going to do this gradually, so we're going to do half of the flour, half of the milk, half of the flour, half of the milk, stirring all the while. Alright, so with a bit of luck and some elbow grease, you should have ended up with a fairly smooth cake batter. So now it's time to potentially ruin the entire thing by adding 400 grams of mushrooms.
Right then, so once you've added 400 grams of mushrooms to a cake mix, it's time to add two heaping tablespoons of honey and a small handful of walnuts. One, two. Alright, so here is our completed cake mix, and my first thought is that there is no way all of that is getting in there. But never mind, we're going to put as much of that in there as possible, and then put it in the oven. Um, you know what? Actually, it did all fit. Might spill over in the oven, might not. Not really sure. Either way, the lesson here is, believe in yourself. There we go, so that's going to sit in the oven for about 45 minutes, so place your bets now on whether or not it's going to boil over while cooking. Alright, it's been 45 minutes, let's see what we've got. Oh, that is heavy. Hey, it didn't spill out. Tell you what it is though, it's wobbly in the middle, back in that goes, not done yet. Let's see how, hello. See how this has turned out. The top's cracked a little bit, but all in all, ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, that is very moist sounding. Let's do a skewer test. Has it come out clean? No, no, not quite. Still not done. <laughs> Okay, how about now, cake? Uh, top's cracked a bit more, which is a pain in the ass. Oh, God. So we're now well over the estimated cooking time, uh, which I'm gonna put down to the fact there's a crap load of mushrooms in there, and mushrooms have a lot of moisture in them. So it's a very dense, very moist cake, so it's gonna take a long while to cook. If you're gonna make this yourself, uh, just simply prepare yourself to cook it for longer at a lower heat in order to prevent the top from going brown and cracking, which is what mine is doing right now. But we're gonna push on, and hopefully by the end, we should have a fully cooked and tasty cake. Certainly smells all right. Right, if it's not done this time, I'm gonna go spare. Oh, finally a clean knife. Right, well it took bloody ages and the top is definitely browner than I would have liked, but we have a successfully cooked cake, so we're gonna leave that to cool for a while before turning it out and doing the taste test. Okay, time to turn this sucker out. It's not exactly cool, but I am running out of time, so... Hey, look at that. Ooh! <laughs> Spidery! All right, so here is a slice of shroom cake from Paper Mario, and here goes nothing. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, I like the taste of mushrooms, and I really. Oh, so I've made cakes before with vegetables. Like I've made a courgette cake, and that was really good. Mushrooms are just so earthy and meaty that when you combine them with the sweetness of that cake, especially with the honey, then the walnuts hit. It's disgusting, like that is really horrible. I thought this was gonna be okay. The people online said it tasted all right. That's vile, absolutely vile. God damn it. All right, well, thanks for watching me make this frankly disgusting and very disappointing cake. I really thought that was gonna be okay-ish, but 
It was just vile. Don't make that. Just don't do it. Anyway, thank you very much again for watching. Uh, please do keep those suggestions for recipes rolling in because they're a lot of fun to make, even if sometimes they're really not fun to taste. And uh, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. No pressure either way. Thanks again for watching and have a lovely day. Ah.